It does have a little bit of distress at the edge, the ham edge. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as The Thrifty Broad. Today I have a haul for you. Went to the Goodwill outlet. I got, I didn't get 200 pounds. That would be a lot. That'd be like $400. I spent $200. Oh, do I have my receipt right next to me still? I'm telling you how many pounds. Yes, I do. Okay. So I got 97 pounds. So yeah. That's what I got. So let's just jump into it. Okay. I have like a bunch of stuff around me. So I got these Abercrom Abercrombie and Fitch. Okay. Oh, there we go. Super skinny stretch 32, 34. These are men's. They have a little, you know, wear at the knees, but you know, some guy will probably like it. So this has already been, I'm just gonna drip these over my chair because I've already measured this bag. So what I try to do is measure them as soon as I get home. That way all the measurements are already in Vendue and I can, it's easier to flush out my listing. Anyway, so this is Torrid. This is actually not super old either. This is from 2021. Um, these are super soft and boyfriend skinny they're size 24 and they do have a raw edge hem detailing and that's how they are in the model picture which i did find which i am using again on poshmark sorry not sorry you know i think i had better luck selling things on poshmark when i did use um stock photos i know we're not supposed to i'm not using them on ebay so well, I try not to every once in a while. I accidentally post one to eBay, but I try to take it out on Vendue so I don't put it on eBay. This is Vince Camuto. They're just a size large. They're just like a stretchy ponty pant. I do need to repair the hem on this one, which is easy. Just a blind hem repair, which I should just put over here in a little repair pile. Um, These are new attacks, so I decided to get them. They are gap fast, seven eighths length, high rise, uh, hits above the ankle and has this cute tie detail. They're new with tag. You know, I paid a dollar 89 per item. So even if they went for 15, $20, I'm still making good money on that. Right? Yeah. So I ended up getting like 104 items and that's after I kept like two things. This is American Eagle. This is the new style, although it is still 2018 or 2018. Let me check. Yeah, it's 2019. Is that when they changed it? I think it is. So these are black, just regular jeans. Um, I think these are, they're the next level flex. They are men's 3034. This is the back. They're in great condition. I just want to throw them over here. I'm like, nope, got to drape them over your chair here, which just will start getting taller. <laughs> okay. This is lucky brand. Come on. Okay. Now, but now I'm too far away. Okay. I need to put my chair over here because I need to be closer to the camera. Lucky brand. The thing is a medium. Yeah. Medium. And it's like this knit, like slub knit that has stars all over it and a racing stripe. So I thought that was cute and they're in good condition. So, okay. Um, this is Lane Bryant, 22 long, which I do love to pick up long jeans, especially in plus. It is a boot cut. It does have a little bit of distress at the edge, the hem edge, <laughs> the bottom of the hem, whatever you want to call it. I'll put that in my listing there. Oh no, it's a crease. It's just a, the shadow of the uh, wrinkle. These need to be steamed. Okay, so I picked this purely for the print. Has no real, it's made in Brazil. It's a large, um, that's about all I know, polyester. But look at this print. I'm calling it Mystical Tiger. Or is that Cheetah? Is that a Cheetah? 
mystical cheetahs. I don't know. I thought it looked cool. Someone's going to like it. I think it's high-waisted when I took the measurements. Um, Another toward piece. This is the Boyfriend Straight. Um, I think it's also from 2021. Yes. I've been trying to look at the tags to see how current are they. And if they're in the last few years, um, I'm going to pick them up. But if they're like further back, I may not. Because um, not all Torrid is doing great for me. But I think the newer pieces probably will do better than the older pieces, right? Or if it's the style. If, you, if it's an older piece, but the style's really relevant, then, you know, of course. Like Kaylee Elaine says, factor stacking. Well, now she has me saying that to myself at the bins. So I'm like, hmm, how many factors does this have? And then I laugh at myself. Okay, this is an Eileen Fisher skirt. It's small, but it's 100% merino wool. Well, actually, no. It's like 97% merino wool, 3% spandex. It is stretchy. Like, not crazy stretchy, but it is stretchy. Has no lining, though, so you'd want to wear, you know, a slip with this or something. But, I mean, it has no holes. I'm like, get in my cart. Okay, this is vintage. So, this is Jaeger. Made in Great Britain. Come on, you can do this. The size 18, so an 18 in Great Britain would be a 14 in American sizing. However, this is also vintage. So, when I measured this, it's going to... It was like 31 across, like, not 31 across, sorry, like 31 circumference of the um, waist. So I, I put the measures in there, measurements in there, and I'm going to guesstimate what I think the modern size is. But, you know, I'm going to put that it's a UK 18, US 14, vintage 14, you know, it's not really a 14. It's probably more closer to a 10 to a 12 at this point. But I thought that was nice. I mean, it just, oh, and I didn't really show it to you, did I? I mean, it's just a kind of full length skirt. It has lining. So yeah, a good formal skirt, basically. Um, This is Athleta. Love it. Love me, Athleta. I don't even necessarily care what year it's from. Come on, really? Well, oh, I bet you it's the light. I wonder if I can twist that. Okay, I'm too short. I can't actually twist it. Anyway, this is a size medium, but they're these squirts. So if you lift it up, whoop, there's shorts underneath. So these are, you know, going to be in or are in or whatever. Squirts were in last year. I think they're in again this year. Um, this is a newer Adriana Gold, Adriano Goldsme age denim and these are the the etta okay i need to be on this side the etta high rise uh wide leg has this giant cuff at the bottom i think it is also crop but i couldn't help myself so i think this will do okay though i think this will do fine okay so i'm gonna put these back into that Oop put that over here. Oh no, I'm pulling the other one. Okay. I guess I'll be editing this a little bit. All right, I'm putting this under the table over here so I don't get mixed up. Okay, the rest of this, not measured. This is J. Crew, 29 Petite. I do not, sh I do not shy away from Petite. You get enough of anything in your closet, it'll sell. Some will come and they will light it up. Oh, has a hole. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's a fuzzy. I was like, wait a minute. I looked at these. So it's this interesting like watercolor. It's like a very muted like watercolor print on it. It's very interesting. So I gotta look up the style. I think this was relatively new as well. Yeah, spring from 2021. So yeah, I've been, I've been looking at dates more than I used to. So, I mean, there, I know. I probably should have been doing that this whole time, but you know, how many of us do everything perfectly? 
none. I don't think any of us do. I mean, maybe some, but I don't. I'm not perfect in any way. So, Athleta. Okay, small. These are, you gotta look at the style. But, whoop! <laughs> I just hit myself in the face with the drawstrings. You know, like you do. Oh, and now, come on. Um, yeah, it doesn't have the thing. Oh, but it does have a tag, and it is from 2018. I thought I don't really care. Like I said, I don't really look up the thing. This is level 99. Sometimes this is, well, sometimes I've heard this was sold at Anthropology. I don't know if this was sold at Anthropology. I probably won't put Anthropology as gone because they're shorts. And they're cuffed shorts. Like, they were meant to be that way. They don't come down. So I thought they look nice. And they're like a size 26. So it's like a size 4, typically. Um, Universal Standard. It's only my second time finding Universal Standard. This isn't a plus size, which I was excited about. And they're, I think they're probably skinny. They're 18, so they're probably just skinny. I don't care. I like skinny. I know a lot of people that like skinny still. I will pick it up. And plus, I have the space downstairs, so when it comes back around, I'll be there. Um, doesn't have a year from it. Okay, more shorts. These are Talbots, size 6. I think it's a newer tag. Um, I think they're also... No, these ones do roll down. No, well, they roll down once. So, and then they don't roll down anymore. Yeah. And so they're these, which I thought that was a good, I like the style. So does it have a year on it? Let's see, 21, 2021. On a roll here, trying to get, I've been trying to go to the bins more often. I mean, I haven't told, I have not showed you like the last three hauls which I'm so sorry about. I just, I just wanted to get it home and get it listed. And, um, and I want to do that with this too, but you know, I, I want to make more haul videos cause I've been neglecting my, um, YouTube a little bit. Also at the beginning of the week, I did not make a, um, a work with me video. My hands hurt really bad at the beginning of the week. They still hurt a little bit, but not as bad. That's why I'm doing this haul. And so honestly, it was all I could do to do what I needed to do that day. And doing um, one of those videos is kind of too much sometimes if I'm in too much pain, you know what I mean? Anyway, so sorry about that, but um, hopefully on Monday I will be putting it, well, it'll come out on Tuesday, but hopefully on Monday I'll be recording another work with me. But actually I'm gonna record another work with me anyway that isn't shipping, because I have some ideas. Like I have some things I want to talk about and I'm just going to sit here and talk into the camera. Kind of like how, uh, oh God, what's her name? Tabs Mc, McPhee, McAfee. I'm getting her last name wrong. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I like her channel. Um, and that's kind of what she does. I obviously I'm going to talk about other things that she does, but I like that style. So anyway, Pistola 30. And there are some cutoffs, distress, destroyed, great shorts. I'm trying to stock up. This is another Talbot's piece. It's a newer tag, size 10. I really love this gingham print. It's plaid. I think it's probably also from 21. Let's see. Yes. Oh, no, no. Sorry. It was from 2018. So this, this, uh, this label's been around for a little bit because that last one was 2021. But anyway, um, this is another Lane Bryant. Uh, it's 22 long. So I think these are probably the same person. They're also like a boot cut. But this one doesn't have the wear on the back like the other ones did. And I did check the... That's why I check in the... In the um, I was going to say the thrift store, and I don't go to those. In the bins. Same thing if you're in the thrift store. What I do is when I see a pair of jeans I like, the, I, I, tr I look at the crotch right away. Like the outside of the crotch and the inner thigh, especially on plus size, because I know being a plus size girl, thigh rub is a thing, um, and it wears down your jeans more. It just does. So 
I look for that to make sure it's not thinning and stuff like that, but you know, those were in great condition, so I picked them up. There were several out there that were not in great condition, so I left those behind, and I'm getting really good at leaving things behind that I really shouldn't be picking up. So just because I think it's cute, like there's some unbrand, I will pick up unbranded. I'm not afraid of unbranded, because I've been able to sell it success successfully. Like yesterday, I sold something that had no branding, but it was like art to wear, it looked really cool. That'll be in an upcoming What Soul video. I am going back to those, I promise. I know I've said that before, but I, I am actually. This is Lucky Brand. Come on. Okay, so these are some electric blue corduroy pants. So I picked them up. These are a mid-rise authentic straight crop, perfect for, you know, spring. And this is from fall of 1919. Oh my God. This is a, from 2019, from 19. Wow. It hasn't been 19 something in a long time. I mean, I was born in 19 something. A lot of people were born in 19 something, but I'm oh like, geez. Every once in a while, I'll write down 19, and I'm like, I haven't written, written that in, like, almost 25 years. Like, what? Yeah. This looks like it's a newer Ann Taylor piece. These feel like they've never been washed. They're very stiff. Like, not stiff in the bad way, but just stiff in the I'm new way, you know what I mean? Never been worn, I've never been washed, you know, like how it breaks down the fibers. Let's see. Let's see if it tells me what year it was done. Cause now I'm curious. Oh, has an A on it, that's good. Um, yeah, it doesn't say. Anyway, I feel like this is a newer piece. Anyway, I like I like her shorts. Um, and it's Ann Taylor line, so I will pick up Loft. I am picking up Loft and Ann Taylor, and that stuff does sell. So, I mean, I see it all the time. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna sell it. So anyway, J. Crew, size 10. Nope, size 33. These are men's. Size 33. But they have these cool lobsters all over them. And I sold this before. Um, and I think they, they went for some good money. Okay, so this is the last pair of pants. These are Eileen Fisher. I've been finding a lot of her lately. I, I think people are picking her stuff up. I will. I'll take it all. And these have nothing wrong with them. I always look for a flaw. I mean, if you're, if you're putting Eileen Fisher, I mean, people die and then their stuff gets donated. That happens probably a fair bit, but um, I, uh, oh, I thought there was a stain. Nope, it's just my eyeballs. Um, yeah, there's been a fair bit I've been finding. I've been finding some actually really good stuff that people are just passing by. And there's a ton of resellers when I went. There was a ton of resellers there. So I'm like, all right. Okay, yeah, I'll just pile it on this side. Um, this is Mark New York. Andrew Mark. Um, I don't pick up everything in this brand, but I do pick up some things. Like, I just really love the embroidery on this. I thought it was really cute. Very boho-y sheer, though. So you want to wear something underneath this. It could be like a swim cover-up, something like that. But yeah, okay. And I made a decision that I'm picking up Christmas now for next year. <laughs> this is Blizzard Bay. It's extra large. I don't know if this is that lucrative. I just love the um, lion. So I picked it up. And that's the back with the lion's tail. So yeah. Okay, this is beautiful. I could not say no. It's Chico's, but oh well. Size one, which is like a 10, eight, something like that. I have a size chart. Let me just bring that up. And I can just tell you. Why is technology hard sometimes? Anyway, it's a medium, it's an eight. So, oh, close to a 10, but 1.5 is a 10. Anyway, so, but look at the embroidery. Like, yeah, I'm not leaving that behind. I don't care if it's the smaller size. Somebody is gonna want that. I love how this like kind of wraps around the shoulder and on the side of the um, arm. Oh, it actually did say it on the, the it's a newer tag, so it says size medium because they now are putting their uh, in the, on their newer tags they are putting um, the conventional size. 
because you know why are you doing vanity oh it doesn't say what year but i'm i'm sure it's fairly new because it's that fairly new tag oh yeah i was excited about this made well extra large and it's just a trucker jacket jean jacket which it's a gener it's generous for extra large like i'm like a 1x 2x so this is a small on me but you know this isn't my size but if you didn't want to button it it'd work out but yeah it's great condition i love the uh the not the wear but the distressing on it it's great okay I have been experimenting with uh, with like adult branded children's stuff. So Timberland, this is 24 months. Look how cute that is. So adorable. So I picked it up. This is Land's End, 100% Supima cotton. This is a solid brand. I do pick up a lot of Land's End stuff. A lot of it does pretty good for me. I think we have a store in, I think we have a few stores out here. Um, this is Athleta, it's a small. I have this, but like it's a large one. And mine's like a crew neck, but it has the thumb holes. This is a V-neck like sweatshirt. Oh yeah, and there's so many vintage uh, sweaters I came across. I mean, I don't know, maybe I got like 10, something like that. It's a lot, I think. So, this is Boathouse Row. Look how cool this looks. I think this is, I have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure this is uh, vintage. If it's not, then let me know, but I'm pretty sure it is. But I love, love, love the print on it. So cool. This is Woolrich, John Rich and Bros. It's a size men's medium. I almost said large, but it's a men's medium. It's a crew neck, kind of chunky um, green, like a mossy green, but it's a little bit of var variation in the actual yarn. It's like a slight variegated yarn. Um, this is J. Crew Factory Authentic Fleece. This is a large. I do believe this is a yeah, it's a men's because of how it buttons, uh, snaps up, snaps, how it snaps up, how it snaps up. Anyway, but it has like this faux Sherpa. It's very cozy. I like it. And it has pockets in the front. Oh yeah. So this, I need to do some comps on this. Um, this is S13 New York. However... I looked up the RN number. Oh God, what did it say? The RN is 131822. Okay, let's look this up again. And I can just edit this to hell. All right. 131822 is Andrew Schwartz. So this is Andrew Schwartz. So I don't know what the comps are, but it is a down puffer coat. It's a long, it's a long puffer coat at that. And uh, it has like the thumb holes right here. I do believe it's a woman's. Um, but yeah, it's in great condition. I'm going to keep picking up puffer coats. I just will. Um, I'm going to just continue to pick them up all year round. I've decided. And I have, because I do have so much space downstairs. I have enough space. I can store it all. And then, I mean, I think it'll sell you around, honestly. So this is Tommy Bahama, 100% silk. It's like an, a muted eggplant. Uh, I almost said orange. What the hell? A muted eggplant purple. So just needs a good steaming. And you know, I get him, I'm getting things so cheap, I don't mind. This needs a little bit of cleanup. That's fine. But this is something navy. And these are pants. They are kind of a speckled knit, cable knit. They have a lot of pilling, which I will do, but they're super soft. 
Um, they're a wool cashmere mix. Yeah, they are 90% wool, 10% cashmere. And apparently these go for a fair bit. So I was really excited about that. Okay. This is Eileen Fisher again. Needs a good steaming. This is petite. This is petite large, but it's like tiny still. But it's a interesting like crinkle. Um, is it a plaid or is this? It, yeah, it's kind of a weird plaid. What do you call that plaid? Anyway, and I think this is another vintage sweater. Nope, I'm I'm wrong. It's free people. Not vintage. It needs a lot of cleanup, which I've decided I will do. It's a medium, but it's like, it's oversized, like for sure. I mean, the arms aren't so much necessarily, although they fit my arms just fine. I think it needs a wash too, but yeah, has a, oh, it has buttons. So we will stay together. They are metal buttons. So yeah, I can totally wear this. It has pockets. Yeah. But it has some stains. It has some pilling. It needs some help. So she's going to get a spa treatment pretty soon. This back. And I will do one more bag on the ground. And then it's the extra large Hulk end. It has the rest, which is basically all tops. All tops. It's funny. You know, I, I was listening to... Um, I listen to, you know, different resellers do hauls and stuff, and there's a fair bit that say they don't pick up tops. It's like, but there's so much money to be made in tops and they're easy to store. You know, I don't know. I, I do pick up dresses as well, but there's so many tops and people like the lot tops together. Okay. So I just like the print on this. But it's like, it's hard to read. It's hard to read for me. Hand print, New York, Seattle, New York. Oh, yeah, slash Seattle, Frankfurt, cotton made in India. Anyway, look how pretty that is. I just really liked it. So I picked it up. I mean, if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. But scarves are, you know, they're a nice thing. Whoop! And I'm dropping them all on the ground. Okay. This is cashmere. I think it's 100% cashmere. It has a few tiny holes I need to go fix. Which will not be hard to fix. Or maybe I won't fix it at all. But sometimes they, it doesn't matter. There's like really tiny holes. Anyway, yeah, it's 100% cashmere. I have to look up the RN. Well, let's do it right now since it's still the a database up. Okay, let's, who are you? One, one, seven, three, zero. Target. Wow, this is Target. I didn't know they made uh, cashmere. Okay, I mean, it, it feels really nice. Cool. Probably sell is unbranded. I don't know. Well, what do you do? I mean, it doesn't have a brand on it, but I don't know. I mean, I sell Target, so I'm not like ashamed of that. Oh, okay, this is Echo. It has a few flaws. Can you see that? It's like backwards. Maybe I should put it the right way. All right, there you go. It feels like a silk, like all these stars are on it. Feels like it's silk. I don't know, I've got to look it up, see if they make their scarves out of silk or a simulated silk. Cause some simulated silks are getting actually really good. This is really pretty. I just really love this. Very boho-y. And last but not least, nah, last scarf, not last item. I believe this is wool. This, this is pretty scratchy. Like it's a scratchy, not so scratchy, but it, it feels like wool. So if you know what wool feels like, yes. Oh yeah, I was really excited to find this. I have a jumpsuit in this brand, which is a very similar style to this. This is a dress. This is Dress the Population, which is sold at places like Nordstrom's. I 
want to say it's also sold at places like um, Anthropology, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this was at Nordstrom's though. Look how pretty this dress is. I love the detail on the bottom. And it zips down the back. What size are you? That's a large. So, I don't know. Maybe this will sell better than that jumpsuit. That jumpsuit is just not moving. Probably need to put... I probably have it too high. Anyway, this is Gap. This is a size small. This is a linen and uh, rayon blend, I think it is. The dress. Yes, linen, rayon. I just sold a top that I got not that long ago for pretty good money on... Uh, I mean, for Gap, pretty good money on uh, eBay. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep picking those up because why not? This is Loft. And like I said, I am picking up Loft again, especially in the plus sizes like Ann Taylor or Loft plus sizes is size 14. I really like this asymmetrical um, hem or, you know, slit, whatever. But it's a good color block. Okay, so this dress, um, I need to look it up more, but I think it has pretty good comps, but packed. It's a purple dress. It's extra large, has like a built-in bra, kind of. So it's like an active wear line. It has pockets, but it's like a maxi dress. Well, is it truly a maxi dress? I... It is on me and I'm five one though. So almost everything is a max dress on me, but that's okay. But it has this kind of interesting back to it, like almost like a racer back, almost. I guess it is kind of, but yeah, it's a cool dress. I think this is the target dress I got. No, it's Intramix. This is Intramix. I don't know this brand very well but I think I've heard it a few times on someone's somebody else's I just really like the dress it's you know it's a 12 which is a great size it's like this Barbie pink it says really hot pink and then it's like this long tiered like prairie dress so I'm like yeah this will totally sell so I'm picking it up I'm happy to pick up stuff based on style um, this is universal standard Two extra small, although really it's kind of big for extra small. Like, I think it could fit me. Did they do a typo? I don't know, but this is very roomy if you're an extra small. Okay. I think this is unbranded, but I love the dress. So I was like, you know, I don't care. Oh, it's not. It's Jessica. This is a brand from, uh, it's a brand, I think, from uh, Amazon. It's a wrap dress, though. That's why I picked it up. And it's pretty. It's a wrap floral dress. It's a mixed print. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if this was a mistake. If it's a mistake, I'm okay with that because I literally will make my money back with a few items. I got a lot of great items, so I'm okay taking chances on some things. Like this thing I took a chance on. This is RS. It's Rainier... Riviera Sun, Rhaenyra, and it's just, I like the embroidery. That's why I picked it up. It's a really cool embroidered dress. Last time I picked up something like this, it sold right away. So we will see. Okay. So I do like express and you know, it's small and it's express, but these dresses do okay. So I am going to start picking up like these, you know, sequiny party dresses you know because why not and I think there's gonna be a lot more parties this year oh no did I snag it okay time to take my ring off I think it snagged it I can fix that oh it snagged in a few places okay yeah this will require a little bit of cleanup and that's okay I can do that I do not mind mending and cleaning up garments I just don't um because it saves them from the landfill and this is Lauren, Ralph Lauren, evening, size eight, but it's really pretty, like ruched, has this really high slit on the side, so it's very sexy. It is a, I mean, it's past my feet, but I'm so short. Anyway, but it is a maxi dress. 
Oh yeah, I was excited about this little number. This is Bowden. I do like Pecan Bowden. They have some, Bowden has some nice styles. Come on. There you go. It's a UK 12 or an eight because it's US sizing is four behind UK. So this button's up in the front. So it can be more modest if you want it to be. Um, I love this print though. I like the, the, the floral and the polka dot contrast. I really do like that. And ooh, can we tell what year this is from? Let's see. This looks like it could be a current piece, but let's see. You tell us. That'd be great. No, I don't think it does. Nope, it has an extra button though. That's good. Okay. So this is Draper James. Drapers and James Petites. Um, yeah, it's 100 percent cotton. I just really like the dress. So I got it. Is Draper and James a good brand? I can't remember. Is this, uh, what's her name? No, it's not. Anyway, I thought it was cool. It's kind of this tiered floral, like a floral stained glass print almost. It looked really cool. So I thought this would be good to get. Um, this is Patagonia. It's a size medium. It has the built-in bra shelf. It's a halter. <laughs> it's like, I have to remember that. I do like the muted floral on it. These dresses usually do pretty good. I mean, I'm thinking like 30, 30, $35 maybe depends. Maybe 20, 25. I mean, this is Sundance and this is a medium and this dress is just really pretty. It's a long, like mixed print, like very kind of boho-y to me. I just really liked it. So I got it. Oh yeah. And then I found Robert Rodriguez, which is a designer brand. Is it mid-tier though? I think it's a mid-tier designer. Like Tory Burch is considered a mid-tier designer. Like it's not like, and it zips down the side. So I found this dress. I really liked it. So I picked it up and this was sold at Bloomingdale's. This is aqua, but it's new tag and it's velvet. So I was like, yeah, I'm picking this up. Aqua formal, which I think will do better. It is a, no, it's not strapless, but it is off shoulder. Um, but it's this really beautiful, like wine. It might be coming across as purple. Is it purple? Oh yeah, it is purple. It's like a dark purple. But how much does it sell for? Does it tell me? It doesn't. It doesn't have a price tag on it. But it sold at Bloomington, Bloomingdale's exclusive. So this was only sold at Bloomingdale's. Which is a very high-end department store. So I got it. Because why not, right? All right, so I'm not gonna bother putting those in the bag. I'm just gonna bring this big old Hulkin over and show you what else I got. Okay, this is Gap. It is the Academy Blazer, striped, it's a size six. I just thought it was a fun, loud blazer. Why not, you know? And I don't, Gap, I think is a, I think I, I didn't give it enough credit, I'd have to say. Okay, so this is a size four. This is Daughters of the Liberation. I don't think this is sold anymore, Anthropology. This used to be sold at Anthropology. So it's just like an anorak uh, coat. But it's a very lightweight one, so it'd be good for the spring. Although I don't only pick up things for spring, you know what I mean? Pick up things year-round. This is Dietrich Vares. Vares collection. I think it's Juarez by Ray, Rain Spooner. And I just love the novelty print. It's so cool. 
So I was like, yeah, I got to get that. This is, what are you? Um, this is Rose and Olive. I don't know where that is sold, but it's a 1X and that's why I picked it up. And I liked the um, pattern on it. Great for spring and summer, keeping cool. It's a nice sleeveless blouse. Okay. Um, where are we at? 40 minutes. Not bad. I thought this was going to be a lot longer and we're on the last bag. So that's good. This is Cheyenne country wear mean it. So I thought, why not? You know, boho, Western Paisley, all that Paisley's in. So I got it. Summer is coming. Summer is upon us. So, well, it's not upon us, but it's coming. This is St. Michael made in the UK. It's a 44, um, which is UK size. So I will have to convert that, but I thought it was cool. It has like this faux leather, faux suede, and then it has a zips down. It has these one pocket. So yeah, I thought, why not? It's men's. Oh yeah, this is vintage and I could not get it. I could not not get it. There we go. This is Wander, Wander Day. Oh, oh no. Okay. I just pulled the button off, which I will put back on. It just kind of came off. That's fine. I just stretched it a little bit too far, but I'm glad it came off here and not at the bends. But look how cool that looks. It has no material tag. It feels like a, like an Angora, um, feels very much like an Angora, like cashmere mix, but I will look up that brand. And a lot of times you can figure out what it's made by made with. Oh, does it have a tag on it? No, it doesn't. I, I think I looked, Oof. it is fibrous though. So I will have to fix that. So I'll put that over here, my little fix pile. Okay. This is also Daughters of the Liberation, size six. But this is like a mustard color blazer. Does it have a button? Yes, it has two buttons. So it's a two button blazer, an unstructured, very floppy. This is J. Jill. And this is very Christmassy. But I was like, I don't care. I'm getting it so cute. If it's six rental next year, that is fine. I'm okay with that. Although I don't think it will. I think it'll sell in the next few months. I honestly do. This is Knox Rose. Now it's a size medium and I've been experimenting with all, well, I've been experimenting a bit with all the sizes of Knox Rose, not just large and extra large and above. Although that seems to have the most like High, higher sell through rate for the bigger sizes, of course, like anything else. But you know, maybe someone will come and like a lot of few of these together. And I just love the embroidery on it. Give you a close up of that. And then the back has no embroidery, just regular. It's a red. So I thought, why not? This is J. Crew. It's a size small, it's 100% linen. I think it has a flaw that I needed to fix, but I got to figure out what that flaw was. I think it was like a small, like, I think it was a small hole somewhere, which I think will be easy to fix. So I decided to get it. This is Woolrich men's. Um, this I think is hundred percent cotton, but it's kind of like a ditzy novelty print in a way. No, we have like ditzy floral, but look, this fish and oars. So it's very much for a fisherman or a guy that likes rowboating, you know. One of those guys is gonna like that. Or somebody that just likes novelty prints like that. This is Casanova, 100% silk from the 80s, I believe. I just like the print. And then the back, it's just regular black. Okay, this is Outdoor Research. 
which is pretty pricey. It's not Outdoor Voices, but it's still a pretty pricey brand. So I decided to get it. And it's like a, it has ruched sleeves. So I think this is a women's. Yeah, it's women's because it buttons up on that side. Um, oh yeah, this is a vintage, needs a lot of help, hand framed Brunier, uh, made in Selkirk, Scotland, pure new wool. It's a very like dark blue, has a lot of billing on it but I will fix that. And uh, yeah, the chunky grandpa sweater, love it. Love it. Okay, I found a couple Torrid sweaters. This is Torrid size one, which is a one X. So it's a kind of a cold shoulder, or actually it's not really a cold shoulder. It's just a cut out detail. I'm not afraid of getting cold shoulder though. I will totally pick it up. They'll sell for me. Because if you get enough of anything, it'll start selling for you. So in my humble opinion, there'll be people that disagree with me and that's okay. We can all not have to agree on everything. If something can be true for me and not be true for you and still be, you know, still be true for both of us. Anyway, so this is Efeki, Efeshi, Efeki. I don't know how to pronounce that. I just has this belt. It has a belt in the back. So it's a belted um, sweater. And I just thought I needed to buy that. So cool. Doesn't look like it was actually worn that much. This is a regular t-shirt, but I think I got this. I think I may have gotten this to sort of try it on because I can sometimes fit large. Anyway, this is the rail. This looked like it was kind of on the bigger side. Anyway, may, maybe I'll just have to list it. Anyway, it's a t-shirt, but it's um, from Nordstrom. This is Madewell. This is a extra small classic. It's like a flannel top. It's in great condition though. So I picked it up. Whew, more tops. Then after this, I get to go make dinner. Uh, Lucky Brand, Medium. I sold this at the beginning of last year for like $35. So let's see what happens at the beginning of this year. <laughs> let's see. Okay, this is Chouse. This is also vintage, but I thought it was really cute. So I picked it up and I do love the, the crest on the pocket. Yeah, it's women's. On the back is just that. Okay, you are Ted Baker, a small size. Oh, it's a size two, which I think he, I don't think it's a two. I think Ted Baker uses vanity sizes. I don't remember, it's small though, but it's a nice t-shirt, so why not? Okay, this, you go back. Melrose and Market, which I think is Stitch Fix. It's large, but look at all this embroidery on the sheer shirt. It's very sheer. I can see, I can see through it, but I just thought it's so pretty. I need to buy it. Okay, this is loft, size small, but look at these sleeves. These are so fun. Okay, maybe I gotta show it this way, yeah. So fun, I love them. So I had to pick it up. Somebody else is gonna want to. Okay, this, I looked it up and it looks promising. Gotta, you know, look into it more, but this is strong suit. This is like an eggplant purple. This is men's. And when I looked it up, the comps look really good. So I don't know. I gotta do a little bit more research into it. I just did a really kind of quick comp anyway. Um, yeah, it's made, does it tell me what it's made out of? I don't know. Um, does the other pocket have anything in it? Is there another pocket? Oh, there's another thing. There's another pocket. I don't think it has a size. 
Okay, it says, though we traveled the world over to find the beautiful, we must carry it with us or we find it not. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Okay. Well, it has a quote, but no size. No size, because someone cut it out. Ugh, I hate it when people cut out the size. Why? Why? It's in a pocket. Why do you need to cut it out? That's dumb. That is so dumb. Okay, anyway, so I will figure that out. Once I undo this, oh my god. Okay. Um, oh yeah. I found a couple of these. I know they're heavy. I don't care. J. Crew. Italian double cloth. Um, by Okay, something in Italian. It's too petite. But I thought I don't care. I'm picking it up. It's a great coat. It is women's. Has this cute like ruffle pocket detail look at that and i think this will go for a bit this is obviously a higher end brand a line of that brand um and what year was it made 2018 so i was like you know i don't really care how long it was made it looks really good still it's like a classic piece there's a couple of those i found this is habitual so one X, I don't know if this is a great brand. This may, may have been a mistake, but I thought it was a great spring piece, you know, little jacket. It's not really a shirt, but it's a, it's a jacket, you know, anorak. I think that's considered anorak because of the tie around the waist. I think, okay, this is lucky brand. Two XL, I think this is men's. It has staggering jacks and there's nothing on the back. Okay, this is outdoor research again. I need to clean this up a little bit, but I think I can. Outdoor research. And yeah, these jackets, they're expensive to buy. But this looks like it might have like some paint on it, which I think you can get off. But it looks like it's in good condition. I do think it's men's. Um, does it say men's? It's an extra large, but I do believe it's men's. So yeah, I was excited about that. Let's see, oh yeah, it has a couple stains on it. I think I can get them out though. I have good skills when it comes to getting stains out, so. Doesn't always work, but you know, sometimes I think it's worth trying. Okay, so this is um, a JBL, which is vintage. You can kind of tell by just looking at the um, uh, tag. But look at this. This is such a cool blazer. It's a women's blazer, but I really love the plaid. I think made out of polyester and cotton. It feels nice though. Okay. This is, what is this? J. Jill. The Wherever Collection. Uh, someone took the size tag off. But I think it's a fairly big size. I'll just measure it and put it against the um, their size chart. Unless it says it in here. Because sometimes it'll say it in the inner tag as well. Nope. Nope. That won't be my luck. Nope. Oh, well. Okay. This is Sundance again. Needs a little bit of cleaning up, but look how cute that is. Love that. That's back. Okay. Ooh. This is vintage Pendleton. It has a couple holes, but I picked up anyway, because, you know, recently I got a purple label Ralph Lauren, but it had a but it had like three or four holes in it. And I sold it for like $65 on Poshmark in like two days. So you know what? This has holes in it. I will disclose the holes and show pictures. But this is Pendleton. And I will have to look up it's a size 42. I have to look up this tag and see when it was made. It usually gives you a range. I think this was like from the 80s though. Judging by this right here. Like, that's a very 80s, like, I don't know, aesthetic. 
but I might be wrong. But anyway, it has like a flag and then is that a sailor's um thing? Or is that a musical note? I don't know. I don't think it is. No, it looks like it's like an anchor. Probably a sailor's thing. Maybe a sailor owned this. I don't know. Um, this is Max Edition. 0x, 1x. Very cute. Like, I just love the fringe on the bottom. See, fringe. But, yeah. It's very, like, cozy. Okay, this is... Oh, this is also J. Crew. Nalia was also too petite, so it's probably belonged to the same person. But look how pretty this coat is. Love it. And actually, I will give you a closer look to this tweed. So pretty. I just couldn't say no to it. It has these, like, pockets. Yeah. Okay, this is another toward piece it's a size two which is 2x it's the same style is it or is this actually a cold shoulder this actually might be a cold shoulder i don't care i think it'll sell so people like what they like and they're gonna buy what they want to buy so and trends always come back around this is karen two which is made in the 80s. But I thought this was really cool. Yeah. And it has these nice wooden buttons. And they're all there. There's like three of them. But yeah, look how cool this looks. I might, I might keep this actually. I love this. I don't know. Maybe I'll wear it a little bit and then sell it. I don't know. It's nice. And it's still a little cold out, so we'll see. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom. This is black label. No, black tag. But when I looked this up, I think it was Jake. No, it's Zara. Because these tags are Zara. Well, they're at least owned by the same... Can you see it? Okay, no, you can't. They're so owned by the same uh, group that owns Zara. It's Indidex. So it's the same, but it's great. It's good condition. Looks like it was really made well. Not made well, but made well. <laughs> and it does have all its buttons. And yeah. It's just a nice coat, so I think I gotta do some research into it, but see how much I can get off on it. But yeah, it has these nice zippers. Yeah, I just, I just, sometimes you know you just have to trust your gut, and I, I've learned to trust my gut a lot. So my gut tells me the right thing a lot, and I just trust it, and then things sell. Like I pick up things that are like, this looks interesting. I bet someone will want that, and then it sells for fifty, sixty dollars on eBay. And I was correct. So, um, these, this is soft surroundings, medium, but I think this is like a linen blend, but it has, oh, look at these buttons. Well, I don't actually think it goes to anything. Oh yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So yeah, it's like a caftan military type. Oh yeah, uh, my arms are gonna be too big for that. Um, and it has these pockets on the side here. Um, let me look at the material tag. What are you made out of? 100% cotton. But it, it feels really nice. It's like soft. Because oh, I thought if it was linen, it would be like a linen blend. But yeah, I was really excited about these buttons. I don't think any are missing, right? Nope, look all there. And they're metal. Like when I, I put it on my floor, I ended up putting it when I was like sorting out like the tops and the jeans and stuff like that. And it hit my floor in the um, 
I have like a tiled entryway. <laughs> it was like, boom. I'm like, oh no, I thought I broke something. I didn't. It just, the beads hit, the buttons hit in the, um, the floor. Okay, so this is Neiman Marcus. And they're just socks. Women's Egyptian cotton, one size. I might keep them. Although they look really tiny, but well, yeah, they stretch. I have size seven and a half feet, so I have tiny hobbit feet, so I might just keep those. Okay, this is a Target House brand. However, I love this style. So this is Hinge, not Target, it's Nordstrom. So, and it is designed in Seattle. It's an extra small, small. Okay, this shit's oversized, okay? Like, I am not small by any stretch, stretch of anyone's imagination. Not even my own. Okay, short, I'm short small, but I am not necessarily wide small, so. But um, I'm a 1X, 2X. So this is super oversized and it can, it can fit a variety of body shapes. But, oh yeah, this is really what sold me. Just look at that beautiful knit. And what is the material? It's acrylic, cotton, wool, and mohair. That's why it's so soft, mohair. It has some, I have to de -pill a little bit on the inside, but it's super soft. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is one I need to like kind of stretch out. It's a little bit, so the poor little girl, but it's, it got, um, what do you call it? Someone washed and dried it. So I, there's, I guess, tutorials out there to unstretch it. So I thought I will try it for this or to stretch it back out to get the fibers to untwine from each other. But here is the tag hand knitted made in England. That's it. So I'm going to try to like fix that. If not, then I'll just sell it as is. <clears throat> it could be like good use for a doll clothes or something, you know, and this is Zara. It's a large, look how pretty this is. I just love that. Oh yeah, do I have both? Yeah, both buttons on both sides. And does the front have buttons? Yes, it does. Oh, but they don't actually button together. So it has these buttons, but it's open front. So yeah, I just think it's so pretty. So I could not leave that behind. And last but not least is this Ann Taylor small top. It's like a, it's like a really thin sweater. It's made out of fine merino wool. Has no holes, I don't think. Uh, yeah, 100% extra fine merino wool. That's why it's so like light and airy, but it should be warm, like, you know, cashmere. But yeah, that's it. That's my whole haul. So let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Um, please like this video if you got any entertainment, any value, if I made you laugh, whatever. Um, I laugh at myself all the time. So you totally have the right to laugh at me. And yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching. Bye. How to end this.